They go. Number two on its way, I shouted. I couldn't believe the size of the fish. It took six men just to carry the giant up the hill to the holding tank. I hope they get along. They might get along well. I have a tank boat when you get off. That'd be all right. Good help you. <laughs> I've never met a father to a gar. <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel are in the tank. Thank you, boys. 100 hours, five days into the mission, it was looking good. The next morning, our spirits were high. Two in the tank and more help arrived. Biologist Benny Rohr and Rob Ford from the National Fisheries Department joined the effort. They would try to remove the hooks. We measured the fish I'd taken the night before. Six feet, eight inches. Six foot, eight inches, and well over 100 pounds. What a beauty. Excited, I called Jim Langhammer at the Belle Isle Aquarium. And that call changed everything. Too big, said Jim. Six feet is the size the aquarium tank can accommodate. Too big? Eight lousy inches too big. The sinking feeling I had was matched by disbelief from all of the people involved. Well, let me tell you, that means one thing. It means we gotta go back fishing. But first, we had a job to do. Thank you, Gar. It's been a pleasure. He's got his teeth. Got his teeth in the... He's big. There he is. See you later, So long, boy. Thank you for an experience I'll never forget. One Gar still in the tank. It was up to Benny and Rob to remove the hook. Why, it seemed even the Gar was interested and had to have a look. Let me tell you, working on a 100-pound alligator gar isn't the easiest thing in the world. It's our goal to keep the fish alive instead of killing them like they do in Mississippi. I can see where the hook is if we can get to it. You got definite problems. Come on, Benny, give me some good news. The problem is the hook is in such a position, whether we cut it out or not, is it... Uh, it's right where the food goes into the stomach at the end of the esophagus. So that means the fish might not survive in captivity anyway. Eight people tried, and the fish didn't make it. Frustrating? Boy, you can, <laughs> you can imagine it was frustrating, but no one could figure out what was going wrong. Everyone was depressed, but the determination was still there. And then we got another downer. We learned that a hurricane was building up offshore and headed our way. What next, I thought. Little did I know what was next. You'll see tomorrow night exactly what I mean. Doris? Incredible. Yeah. Thanks, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Welcome. This is Jerry Stanicky. This is Mississippi. It's bio country. When you hear this down here, it means something exciting is going to happen. The story is still to come. As promised, Jerry Stanicky joins us now to continue his special series, The Great Motown Gar Hunt. It was an effort by Jerry to replace a couple of alligator garfish killed by vandals at the Belle Isle Aquarium last July. Yesterday, there was more failure for the crew, and then Jerry was told there was a hurricane building offshore. What in the world could happen next, Jerry? <laughs> Actually, we got lucky, Jack. We really did. The hurricane never materialized, but the rest of our luck, it was all on the downside. Two alligator gar had died. We'd been through a storm. Charlie Nobles got bit in the stomach by one of the fish, and someone stole $250 worth of fishing gear from us. Other than that, everything was just beautiful, except for our mood. The Mississippi morning sun came up bright. It was going to be a hot one. And we arrived at the base camp feeling like we'd been rowed hard, beat with a whip, and then put to bed.